Hey there, I'm Carrie Davis. And I'm Roberto Baldwin, and we're still in the woods. Day two. So we wanted to show you some things that we would use to go hiking because we're nerds, I guess. I love nature, but I also love technology, which is probably why I have my job. We'll be reviewing three things on today's hike that are designed to make your outdoor journeys much easier. First up, the GoTenna, which can hook my and Carrie's phones up to each other to send messages even without cell phone service. So the low-tech version of this would be just an old-school phone, like a radio. Like a walkie-talkie. Yeah. Or screaming. Or <laughs> screaming. Carrie, I'm over here! Carrie, I'm getting attacked by a bear! And I'll be like, that's fine. We'll also be taking these Narrative Clip 2s out for a spin. We each have one to automatically snap a GPS-stamped photo every 30 seconds. Mine will also take a 25-second video every time I double-tap it. All the moments get uploaded to the app once you're back on Wi-Fi to form a cool trip memory to look back on. So it'll be like a time lapse of me getting eaten by that bear. I can't wait to see it. Yay, bears! And I also have this awesome backpack because I probably still will be taking photos, which means I'm going to be in video, which means I'll be running down my battery on all my devices, and I have a tablet in here. My off-grid solar backpack from Voltaic is supposed to take three hours to fully charge a smartphone, so we'll see how it performs. For fun, I'm also giving Robbie a life straw to drink out of, which any doomsday prepper worth their salt knows is supposed to make water from any source safe to drink. So uh, let's get out of here. Gotenna essentially makes your cell phone a 2 watt VHF radio. Since we've already downloaded the app, we can talk as easily or better than regular SMS messages. It has a range of 4 miles in the wilderness and 1 mile in urban areas. If there's a drawback, it's that we can only text each other. Boo. Now, they cost $200, so this is either for the nature freak or the person who is obsessed with Coachella and pooping outdoors. The function we love is that you can share your exact location and watch one another move closer or further away on the map. As for the narratives, yeah, they caught all that. While hiking by myself, it captured these great photos, plus 25 second videos every time I double tapped. Now some people might say that a GoPro is all you really need out here, and that's fair, especially for video. But the narrative's photo-only option is fun because you don't have to think about it. It captures 8 megapixels and has a 90-degree field of view, though you'd have to be pretty into unscripted moments to buy this. The photos only sync to your phone over Wi-Fi, so there's no way to check what you've captured when you're still out here. And that's another potential bummer. Oh, come on! The Life Straw Personal Water Filter costs about 20 bucks and is supposed to remove 99.9% .9 of waterborne bacteria, surpassing EPA standards for water filters. Suck it, Robbie! Tastes like water. The off grid bag captures energy from the sun in its solar panel. Storing it in a 6 watt battery, you can use to charge up tablets, phones, cameras, really anything with a USB charging port. The solar portion even detaches so you can stick it on a larger bag if you're doing anything more ambitious than wandering around the woods for a few hours. So this is actually a really good bag for sort of, you know, day trips, day hikes, maybe hike in and out. Uh, I wouldn't take this on like a long-term hike, you know, if I was out for three or four days because it just doesn't have, you know, the size or the accoutrements that you need. It costs $200 though, so this has to be something you really need. Decent hike? Yeah, you know, we got out, got the heart pumping, drank out of a stream. Thanks for being a good sport. Yeah, maybe in 12 hours I'll be throwing up. We'll see. So what did you like on the of the tech we brought with? What did you like? GoTenna was super cool. Right? This thing is yeah. awesome. The fact that you could request my location, I could send it back. And the location uh, sending and, and requesting was 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 tops. From us, the GoTenna gets a solid five out of five stars. The narrative, I'm not so sure about because- I don't even know if it's working. I know it's making noises every 30 seconds. A lot of people have GoPros. These yeah. are cheaper. Yeah. And you sort of can put them on and not think about it. Yeah, you don't have that sort of GoPro anxiety of having to do something awesome, like a backflip through fire. Except, could you do that? 
My pictures synced really well once I was back on Wi-Fi and could check them out. But Robbie accidentally did something wrong in settings to capture no pictures. He didn't know until later, so for that, we give it 3.5 stars. And I also like this backpack. Is your phone charged from having been plugged into that? It's about 40% charged. Overall, this is a great idea. We give it four stars. We didn't get lost, we didn't get eaten. I may or may not have gotten dysentery. We'll see you guys another time. Yeah! Later. See you.